I want to bring in the chairman of the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors, Bill Gates. Bill, thanks so much for joining us. Blake Masters, by the way, just made some allegations that ballots in Maricopa County, your county, have been mixed up. Listen to this. So people, when they uh, got to a machine and the machine didn't work, they were invited to just drop their ballot, ballot in a secure box. Hey, we'll count this later. Well, it turns out Maricopa County, on at least two occasions, mixed up those uncounted ballots with ballots that had already been counted. So it's a giant disaster. It's a giant mess to try to uh, un unmix these ballots, right? I think the most honest thing at this point would be for Maricopa County to wipe the slate clean and just take all the ballots and do a fresh count. And the RNC, the Republican National Committee, just released a statement saying this election has exposed what they call deep flaws in Maricopa, uh, Maricopa County's election administration. I want to get your response, Bill. Well, Wolf, thanks for having me. Uh, first of all, let's take the Blake Masters allegation. There were two vote centers where the um, ballots that went into that box three uh, were actually commingled with the ballots that went through the tabulator. Uh, now, here's the thing. We can absolutely address this, and we will. In those two instances, we know exactly how many people checked in at that vote center. We can then check the total number of ballots that, are, that were uh, left there, either tabulated or in box three, and determine if they're the same. We can segregate those out and make a determination. And the best thing of all is that we will do this with the Republican and Democrat observers watching this to make sure that everything checks out. Again, the issue is every one of those votes is going to be counted, the people uh, cast at the vote center. The only issue has been where they're being tabulated. They're at the vote center or here at Central Count. Furthermore, as to Blake Masters' suggestion that we should, quote, wipe the slate clean and start counting over again, that is simply not allowed for under Arizona law. The, additionally, the suggestion by the Republican National Committee that there is something untoward going on here in Maricopa County is absolutely false and, again, is offensive to these good elections workers behind me who have been working 14 to 18 hour days every day now and they continue they did it today on a holiday veterans day they'll continue to do it through a weekend through this weekend and into early of next week and as far as the allegation that this is taking too long when we look back in the history books here over the past couple of decades on average it takes 10 to 12 days to complete the count that's not because of anything Maricopa County has decided to do. That's because of how Arizona law is set up. And that's what we do here at Maricopa County. We follow the law to make sure that the count is accurate. And just to note this, uh, Bill, that, that RNC statement was made uh, before CNN's projection. You're a Republican. Are you okay with the Republican Party, the National Republican Party, making these kinds of accusations? Well, I'm not okay with it because they're false. Uh, again, I would prefer that if there are concerns that they have, that they communicate those to us here. I'm a Republican. Three of my colleagues on the board are Republicans. Raise these issues with us, discuss them with us, as opposed to making these baseless claims. And again, they're, they're egging people on they're hyping up the rhetoric here, which is exactly what we don't need to do. Let the count continue on, and at the end, if they have issues that they choose to take to court, they have every right to do that, and we'll let that process play through. But making these really baseless claims, using this kind of fiery language against these good people here who have been doing this, the 3,000 temporary workers who were brought in to run this election. Again, folks from the RNC, wherever that is in D.C., telling us how to do things in Maricopa County, we don't like that. Mr. Gates, this is John King. Again, thank you for your time. I just want to make a point for what you're saying. 
Now, the same things were done in 2020, and I've, what you caution people is don't believe what you hear on television. See if people can actually prove it where it matters. Uh, you're going to do a canvas. There are courts of law. In 2020, uh, these same things were said, and, and, the, and the canvas backed up your account. The courts of law backed up your account. Even the cyber ninjas backed up your account, uh, which is, uh, so I'll leave that part for there. But so we just got these results. It was enough for us to make the projection uh, that Mark Kelly would be reelected in the United States Senate because he had that big lead statewide heading in, and we saw the percentages in your uh, new report, which included a sizable percentage of those so-called late earlys. People had ballots at home, early ballots, but they dropped them off on election day, and we weren't quite sure how they were going to turn out. In, in 2020, as you well know, early ballots tended to favor Democrats. Election day voting, show up and vote in the machine, overwhelmingly favored Republicans. We weren't sure what to make of these. Are we now, in the sense that you have a giant county, it's 9,200 plus square miles. Do you know the ones that were released tonight? Are they from the central Phoenix area, the more close-in suburbs that tend to be more Democratic? Uh, you know, you see surrounded by red areas. Is this a representative sample, I'm asking? Can we make statistical projections based on it, or do we need more before you're sure? Yeah, so I can tell you, just to break it down briefly for you, there's less than uh, 10,000 of these votes are late earlies that came in before election day. There's about mm, 13,000, 12,000 of these that are actually election day votes in person. And then the rest of the 75,000 are late earlies dropped off on election day. We do not know where these are from. These could be from anywhere in the county, all 75,000. This is not picked out of a certain area. These are not pulled by precinct. Uh, and so then the, just give us the remaining universe and when we should expect those. Yes. So we're now left with about 275,000 ballots to count. And the lion's share, the overwhelming majority of these remaining votes are early ballots that were dropped off on Election Day. And when do you think we'll get the results from those remaining uncounted ballots? We will continue in the rhythm that we've now established over the past few days. I would anticipate, again, one uh, ballot drop or you know, one vote update per day in the evening, probably somewhere in this range that we've been somewhere around 60 to 80,000 a day, which would then make us uh, reach completion very early next week. Very early next week. All right, thanks very much, Bill Gates. Thank you. Thanks to you. Thanks to all your uh, associates uh, for the important work that you're doing protecting America's democracy right now. We are grateful to you.